didn't really know where to start. Um, I just was saying that uh, starting off with Raw, like you kind of thought that, and I, it not even just thought that it ended up being confirmed, that it was just kind of like a last minute thing put together so that uh, they could get more time to figure out what to do with Seth. And so you thought that was it. And then you thought, okay, Cody's going to be on SmackDown. He's going to formally challenge or choose Roman. And then the entire situation was just an absolute crap show. Like, I don't, like, I don't, I don't even know how to start it or like what to even say because yeah, I, like, I... it's two days later and I'm still just as mad and still just as confused and like, not to be dramatic, but it's like, you know, heartbroken because it's like, what are we doing? Like, yeah. I tried to have a conversation. I had a conversation with a friend that um, is the opposite of me and believes that this is the correct um, scenario and uh, that Cody and Roman don't have any real history or connection and that Roman doesn't dictate anything about Cody finishing the story which I don't agree with and I let her know that I did not agree with that I feel like but anyway um and I was trying to see her side but there, I can't see the other side and, um, and usually like that's where I you know you know me I'm always trying to be trying to find the positive there with you and whatnot but I mean I've no, I haven't seen you this upset about something and when the text and whatnot waking up to those um it, it and I love I mean He's my hero. Uh, he literally is. And um, I'm even kind of like, what are we doing here? Uh, but after watching the entire segment and, and and seeing it unfold, it just seems to me that he's going to win. He's going like Cody's going to win the title, whatnot, but not at this mania, which to me is the is the, the wrong decision. And, and that's the thing is like, like I said, when I was having the conversation with a friend last night, she was like, well, he's going to win a, a, at some point. It doesn't matter if Cody mm -hmm. is going to win at some point where it's like, because this is the thing that doesn't make sense too. Uh, this is one of the things that doesn't make sense. Um, him not winning last year. That's fine. You know, now in hindsight, it's like, okay, that's fine. It makes sense. It, 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 it like, uh, made for a bigger story this year. Okay. Mm -hmm. So if the plan, if we're supposed to believe that the plan was always to have the rock versus Roman this year, why have Cody win the rumble? Why continue hinting at Cody versus Roman part two at mania? Why have like an entire year almost of mm -hmm. another buildup? of him against Roman. Why do that? If the plan was like, nope, we're going to go with the rock. Cause this is the argument too. This is what I said to uh, my friend last night. I said, when she said that there's no real beef or history between Roman and uh, Cody, what beef is there between Roman and rock? What's the history there? Like there's if you're trying, family. but that's not, that's nothing in wrestling. I'm saying if we're talking about, there's not enough, between Cody and, and Roman for it to be like, this has to be how Cody wins the title against Roman. If we're saying that it, it doesn't have to be, he just has to win the title. It doesn't have to be Roman. Why? Ex mm -hmm. But what have we seen between rock and Roman? Nothing. It's no, just yeah. family. So to act like the deeper story is because they share, you know, 1% of blood like that, that, that's not a deeper story than Cody. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. That's not an argument in my eyes. Um, I just think, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know how to process this. Like, I think the, the, it's a wrong decision too, because now everybody knows that Roman's going to beat the rock because the rock is not winning. And if the rock wins, it's going, going to be another dude that doesn't show up. We'll do one more pay-per-view, hold the title for one more show, lose it at backlash. And what would be the point? It's, it's very like, backwards. It's so backwards. And I just and don't. Why do, and why do this to your top guy? Why, why would you now? do this? 
like why you literally just put him on the cover of your video game you just had him win the royal rumble like the plan it seemed all along was for him to challenge roman you even had him point to roman after the match that's like, what pisses me off that, yeah, because I, if it wasn't the plan then why even do that why even have roman and seth sit there watching why so that's what I mean. It's like when people are like, because this is another argument too that my friend was saying that she believes a little bit more of the conspiracy theory that Cody wasn't supposed to win the Rumble. I don't believe that whatsoever. That is not a thing that is not real. And the thing is, is like, let's let's say it was real. If we're going to just be like, explore that. Why would Cody have that reaction? First of all, like if, mm. if it wasn't planned, then he why would he be emotional? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Second of all, like we said, why would Punk make that decision? That makes no sense. Because no. he wouldn't know what was wrong with his arm. It could have been something he could be out for six weeks and be back in time for Rumble. So why would he be, or I'm sorry, for Mania. So why mm -hmm. would he just be like, nope, I already know I'm going to miss Mania. I can tell. I can tell. I'm not a doctor, but I can tell that my he's, arm is he's messed not, up. Yeah, he was That's, not going to. He wanted to be at Mania. He would, If it was a minor injury, he would have been at Mania. And they were going to have him face Seth anyway. <laughs> he didn't have to win the Rumble. We knew that if Cody won the Rumble, Seth was going to face uh, Punk anyway. They were going to do like an elimination chamber or something to figure that out. We already knew that. So, like, that doesn't. Everything that we're trying to like piece together to be like okay well it had to have been because of this it had to have been because of this none of it makes sense and if none of it makes sense it's because it doesn't make sense mm -hmm. so i i just think that this is such a waste of time no. and and people are bringing it up see like even uh are you bringing up the comment i have one you up can, here damon damon bringing damon. up because he's part yeah i i i oh <laughs> this one it was like y'all don't understand how big the rock is do you 30 million is why it's because he's, he's getting, getting paid i okay but this is the, the thing this yes. is the narrative that people need to stop no one is saying that the rock versus roman reigns should not happen no one is saying that everybody wanted it last year but it, the rock said he couldn't do it so that's why because again the rock is in full control of this so if the rock is like hell bent on having a match with roman this year he's getting it because mm -hmm. the rock is in control so no one is saying the rock sucks or if if it is it's the it's the like fan girls for cody the ones that only watch for cody those are the only people that are saying this yeah. and so we need to stop trying to give them more credit than every other person um no one is saying that the rock sucks no one is saying that they don't want to see the rock no one is saying that he doesn't deserve to have this match for roman no one's saying they don't want to see this match or whatever like that's not the that's not it it's not the argument not it, the no, argument the argument is Everything that they have done to lead up to this point makes no sense for Cody to then forfeit this match that he's been talking about since he lost last year to The Rock. It makes no sense. There's literally nothing you can say. This is such a Vince move, too. Like, you're burying the face of your company for a star. And the thing is, is if, we, if I got to see The Rock at Mania, I'm not going to complain in this situation i'm gonna complain but like guys this match is gonna be an absolute shit show a 50 year old rock who's not in ring shape versus three moves of doom roman reigns good luck having a 10 minute entertaining match because it ain't happening yeah, it's not it's it's so it's not a wrestle like i i am the rock guy i say like i love him and, and pretty much say that i and to a fault and even i'm like this this can't happen why do you not it because nothing makes sense nothing makes sense in this and i'm trying to think of you know reasons for it to be oh all that and no i can't the only thing i can really think of is that they're really trying to bury cody to the point where he has that moment and it's like he he did he conquered all the odds literally all the odds and I, I am actually, I want to bring this question to you, Sarah, is because of all the backlash we're seeing, I mean, it's a ton of backlash. Over 500,000 dislikes on the video now. That's, that's fucking terrible. That's Pardon five, friends, that's more than five full arenas for WrestleMania. That's so. what, like, 
part of my French, but that's fucking terrible. Like, seriously, mm-hmm. it's not good. No. And the only inkling of positivity I have left is that because it's a new regime, because Triple H always has been a guy of, oh, we listen to the fans, we hear you. Do you think the backlash is so much that they have to switch it? Like the rocks, like, like they're just like, I don't care if you're the rock or whatnot. Like we are like, okay, like put it this way. If we get, if they invade raw or SmackDown next week with, we want Cody and it's just, that's it. You're going to have to do something. It's the yes movement all over again. Yes. It but- has all of the makings of the yes movement. And not to mention, this is literally what you did to CM Punk 13 years ago. Like, and he just talked about it, and now you're doing it to Cody Rhodes. And the thing is, is this is a worse situation because when when Punk, when it happened to Punk, Punk had already been very accomplished, won several titles, and then after that, had the longest running, longest reign, the WWE Championship reign, was like had the pipe bomb. He had this and that, everything after that. This is literally Cody's first time trying to do anything with the top title in the company and this is how you're treating him like i just feel like this you have have you not learned from the past like Mm -hmm. um i i understand what you're saying about overcoming the odds and stuff but like we that was the whole thing of last year that was what they said he was doing this past year so why do we have to do it again all because you want the rock on the show but why because again, why now? Why right now? Why does it have to be WrestleMania 40? Why does it have to be for the championship? Why does it have to be in the middle of a story that you've been building for two years against uh, with Cody Rhodes? Like, I that doesn't make any sense to me. None of it makes any sense. The, there is only there's one conspiracy theory that mm, I, I I don't know if I believe these conspiracy theories. Maybe this this one. Um, but people think that maybe this was their plan the whole time was it's not necessarily going to be rock Roman that they just wanted to get people to stop talking about Vince. And this has people talking about the rock Cody Rhodes, Roman Reigns, SmackDown, Triple H, like they're talking about everything but Vince. And if that's the case, whatever but like it's you're facing way too much backlash in my opinion because like this isn't a move that you make in february when wrestlemania sold out guys both nights all the shows smackdown nxt both nights of mania raw after mania have been sold out for months yeah, right we're gonna be there so like it's not like, oh, we need to have The Rock on the on the show. We need to announce him in a match because we need to sell these final tickets. No. The, the tickets have been sold out since they went on sale in August for Mania. And why? Because everybody that you have on the current roster is enough. People it's were looking boring. forward to seeing Cody be a main eventer again at Mania because it's enough. We're at a time where we don't need a match with The Rock to main event a, a show because they don't have a uh, a good enough roster. I mm-hmm. I just I don't know. I <laughs> that's really it, which sucks. Uh, he's right. I mean, he's that, abusing that's... his power. I know, and that's like one thing I just like. Hulk Hogan. Why? Who? Yeah, like I hate that my my guy is getting compared to the biggest trash bag and all of professional wrestling and Hulk Hogan. That's what happens when you're in business for yourself and you don't give a shit about everybody that you're stomping it's over so to get annoying. what you wanted. To me too, this is all. This is something that I was thinking about too and it's like, I've been a fan of The Rock forever. Like, he was my first favorite wrestler mm-hmm. when I started watching. So it's like, it's not like, oh, I hate The Rock. And now it, this is just confirming it. To me, the things that he has done since he decided to leave wrestling to be in Hollywood the things that he keeps coming back to do it's like the things that he wishes he had accomplished while still in wrestling but he's like coming back to do it now so it's like oh yeah he wants to be able to headline like wrestlemania 40 and he's going against like the longest reigning champion of the modern era and it just happens to be his cousin so it's like i don't give a shit if it means that i'm gonna take this away from cody it doesn't matter that i gave him a hug and a kiss and told him how great he was on tv like I want this, like, to the fact, to the point of him pushing to win the title. Like, 
this is bonkers to me. And again, I, I just want you guys to know John Cena's the fucking goat. John Cena comes back and puts people over. John Cena yeah. comes back and puts the right people over and hands the torch off. He doesn't need to carry the torch for 20 something years, even though he's busy doing other shit. That's why The Rock is not the goat. Sorry. I not. Um, I have a little A Town Town theory myself. So, did you see that Roman Reigns is the next win? Is his a thousandth win? In WWE ever, like his ever, in his... I saw someone say that, but I also feel you think like he could be pulling the strings, and be like, "Oh, well, The Rock, I'll be." He him is and... both of them. Like, like uh, SRS just posted, reposted a tweet that he had. I don't know from a couple months ago of when he asked about like how long is this going to go with Roman and whatever, and the source told him as long as Paul and Roman want it to effing go, like as he they're gonna he's gonna lose the title when Roman decides he wants to lose the title. So this is a thing. It's both of them in control of this. So it's like, to me, they didn't anticipate this backlash, which I just don't understand why you wouldn't anticipate this because it's like Cody is like the most over baby face. And I couldn't even tell you how many years oh, it's, it's it's yeah, without question. And it's like, what did you expect to happen? You thought it, and and it's like it's because The Rock is viewed as an untouchable person in professional wrestling, right? And for the most part, he is because he's a legend, he's a Hall of Famer, like he's done he it does all. it all, and that's that's great. But this is why it's this whole situation is even more impactful because people don't want to see The Rock. They're voicing their opinion that I don't want to see The Rock. I want to see Cody Rhodes. That is mind blowing. And if it's not mind blowing to you, then I don't know what to tell you because there's never ever in my life have I ever seen anybody say they would prefer to see a different wrestler over The Rock. Never. No one has ever said that about Stone Cold Steve Austin, The Rock, no. Shawn Michaels. Like, no one has said that. But the no. fact that this is a video clip that has now the most dislikes ever in WWE's channel, the fact that We Want Cody has been trending for two days there's the woe movement now uh we have multiple wrestlers coming out and supporting like logan paul tweeted we want cody ricochet tweeted we want cody matt cardona tweeted we want cody we have other people who don't even really talk about wrestling on you know i just saw one page that has over a million and a half followers they they tweeted we want cody like this is stretching beyond the parameters of the professional wrestling world and, and that's why like, I think it's a like I think it's the Cody Barry like it's the Barry it to bring can't him be there. That you can't do that. And the thing is, Boy. is then we're supposed then you then you're turning the Rock heel. The Rock's gonna get booed, dude. He's gonna get booed if this is the situation that they're going with. Who I'm gonna be the biggest fucking Roman fan at Mania. You are. You are gonna be. The, it's gonna be it. him versus the Rock. Yeah, a lot of people will. A lot of people will boo The Rock because people are like, well, look at how they reacted when he came out on SmackDown. Who the hell wouldn't? Who wouldn't react to The Rock coming out when you had no idea that he was going to be there? Who wouldn't react like that? Like, that's such a dumb thing to say. You're mm -hmm. not thinking about the long-term effect. Like, what are we talking about here? What's the story here? Like, you're not really... They didn't get to process what Cody said and what it meant. They were mm -hmm. excited to see The Rock, who's not an active guy on the roster, obviously. But next week, like if if they mention him on Raw or something, I'm yeah, gonna, gonna we're get... gonna hear we want Cody, we're gonna hear booze. That's it, that's what it's going to be. And that's not a lane that WWE wants to be in. You don't want your top legend who's loved by everybody to be booed, and then you're like forced into making him a bad guy because you that's just how people are reacting. Like, what are you? I, yeah, it's, it's not good. It, it's, no. it's really not good. I, I, I hate to say it that I, I'm one of the people as the biggest rock fan. I would rather see Cody Rhodes because the reaction and pop that he would get for pitting Roman for one, two, three would literally blow the roof. You know, the, the hypothetical roof off of, Lincoln Financial. I don't mm -hmm. know how it, it's just it, there's some things in wrestling where it's. I mean, let me get to this. Oh, uh, yeah, no, you get to that. Uh, yeah, you can go ahead. Go ahead. Okay, finish. so the <clears throat> the uh, um, like you can't 
I totally forgot what I was going to say. What did that say? Oh, I'm sorry. But, yeah. Um, He said, but Rock versus Roman night one and Roman versus Cody night two makes sense. That's the thing. The silver lining, if that's a thing. But this is the problem. He said, I'm coming for your title, but not at WrestleMania. How do you then flip that back and be like, oh, well, just kidding. I meant night one. I'm not coming for you on night two or whatever. Like, it's definitely I, they could probably still do that. I, I, oh, they, yeah, because if they're going to if they're going to change based off of what is happening, the backlash, then they have to do it. And no one's going to care if it doesn't make sense that they then turn back. I don't care because what you just did didn't make any sense. So make it make no sense again to make sure that Cody gets the match. I don't care. I don't think anyone will care. It's it's just sad. Like I I I don't want to see the Rocket Mania if it means this. I I, I, I hate to say that. Like it's just really sad. I'm sorry. It just is. Like it, when you have a moment like this where Cody is. It's oh, this is what I was gonna say. Thank you. Spin circles. Sometimes in wrestling, it's okay for it to be predictable. It's okay. It's okay to give the fans what they want sometimes. That's what I'm that's and and that's what I'm alluding to in a way. It's only it's okay to give the fans what they want because they're the ones who drive your product. They're the ones who are tuning in every week. They're getting behind these guys and giving you money. Like the it, it's just so old like old school thinking. You just go rock Roman easy because money in this way. No, wrestling fans are nuts. They yeah. want if they want to see something they're going to go talk about it or manifest it at nauseum until it happens. That's why I'm really, I have this thought that like we could see some absolute historic shit happen where they have to say, Oh, we, we kind of have to pivot here and give the fans. It, it's gotta happen. Cause right now well, they're, they're down bad. Well, and like I said, it's because it's going global. It's like news outlets are covering it it's not just like oh ringside news you know what i mean it's like cnn fox oh. news it's like all of these places are talking about it and it's like not in a good way no so that's the thing I, that's yeah. the conspiracy theory thing is why people are saying maybe this was their way to get people to stop talking about vince but the thing is is like is it worth it no i just like, was underground that's why i was late is because i i would have been but he was like well we gotta ask you because Philly, they're going to be in Philly. He's mm -hmm. like, why, why am I seeing Rock hate on my Twitter? Because they, Kyle literally asked him. He's like, why? Because he's not a wrestling guy. And yeah. So he's like, why am I seeing this? The Rock's awesome. I'm like, mm, not right now. He is. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and I can explain the whole situation on Underground. Go check that out. Uh, Underground, Underground Sports Philadelphia on YouTube. And I had to explain to Kyle that as the biggest Rock fan here. I am upset about this because it does not make logistic sense from a wrestling standpoint or it's, a show standpoint. And it's just the timing. Like, it's just the timing. Terrible. Timing's like, awful. Yeah. Like if if this was just going to be at Elimination Chamber, like it'd been rumored, and, and, then and that would be it. fine. But, but the but, fact that you're literally taking this spot away, and that's the thing too that people are overlooking. Like it's not even just – oh, people are upset because they wanted it to be Cody and, and not The Rock. People need to remember that as much as the wrestlers get invested in the storylines and like what they're doing, fans get invested in what they're watching and what they're paying for and what they want to see. So the fans are disappointed because it's been like two years of being excited about this finally happening. We didn't get it last year, so you thought it was coming this year. And everything like... Everything was in line for Cody to dethrone Roman this year. And then you just throw this together. And it's like, we're, it was not even a, you know, at the time, it wasn't even a week ago that he won the Royal Rumble. Like, yeah. um, I want to get to some of the comments because I'm seeing a bunch. So uh, Calvin says, Triple H has some history with the Rhodes family. And that's the reason for it. This happening. Just go back to when he fired Cody and Goldust in 2016 or when Cody destroyed the throne. I don't think that has anything to do with it. I know people say that it is. I don't think so because uh, they've had several conversations about it and I would honestly be telling Cody to get out of WWE if that was what he was doing. I'd be like, get out now because if he's really like doing this because of that, then I would yeah, say get out. Uh, uh, Kervin says, here we go again, blaming Mr. McMahon for this, but not Triple H. That's not what I'm doing. No, I said, this is a Vince move. 
this would be something Vince would do. So that's why I don't understand why Triple H is doing it. I'm 100% blaming Triple H for this. I I was telling people when I was saying it, I was like, F Triple H, F The Rock. Like, I was pissed at everybody. So this is not blaming Vince McMahon. This is just something that I would expect from Vince McMahon. I would not expect this from Triple H. No, uh, I don't expect this from Triple H at all. That's why it's so weird. Yeah. So weird. See, because remember Goldberg versus Brock Lesnar WrestleMania. And this is what you get. Get uh, what you get going to get after that. That is true. You're going um, to get that type of heat. Like they just yeah. are not into it at all. And Marcus is right. He said they just did it at the wrong time. Exactly. And this too. They literally buried the shit out of Seth Rollins. So this is the thing too. They did that on Raw. And I think that people are kind of overlooking that part. So the whole segment between Cody and Rollins was not because they said it was kind of like put together quickly and whatever. To me, it was not a very good look either because they're trying to get the world heavyweight title to be on par with the universal title. Hence the whole point of them like reintroducing it and uh, having Seth be the first champion and having him defend it so many times. Right. But then him begging for Cody to not look over there, but look at this title. Look at this one. This is the one that you really want. First of all, not a good look. Second of all, four days later, you have Roman on national television talking about how it's the like consolation prize title that nobody wants it. <laughs> like he's the guy. Seth's not the guy. Like he's begging somebody oh, to challenge nice. him. Like, but then that's the title we want Cody to get. Well, they had a pro. They had a the, uh, video package on SmackDown of the. They were comparing Seth's title to like the NWA, WCW, and but, the guys that they were putting up. And it's like, all right, yeah, that's more Cody's, you know, path and you know, journey and like those is people. But like, that's not it. The the, the story's about the other one and yeah. how Cody has to get that because his dad had the other one. Because he couldn't get that one. Yeah. And it's and all about it's, Cody getting the big one. That was the he, whole point. And he just, said it since he returned. He said he didn't. He wanted to go after the one that his family never had. And then instead, you're going to give him the one that his family already had. That's going to take off so much of the momentum and the excitement of so when he much. finally gets the WWE title. Doesn't make any sense. No sense. Um, Ali says, I love Rock. Listen, Cody finishes the story at SummerSlam. If Roman beats the Rock and retains the head of the table is... It means Roman is more strong than Cody and beat. <laughs> okay, no. no, no, I can't. No. I'm sorry. No. Do you think this is a work? Wrestling is fake. <laughs> um, I think it's possible. <laughs> I only believe that. I only think this Here, because this is the work. other people thing that people aren't thinking about. Right after Bailey chose EO, they put out the graphic, the mania graphic of Bailey versus EO Sky, promoting it for WrestleMania 40. They have not done that for Rock Roman. And if that were official, that were the plan, that was what they were planning on doing. Why didn't they put? Why haven't they put that out yet? Also, see, see Bailey's I'm... not on the, on the. I know. I love that she's like having a problem with it, but yeah, no, it's it's stupid. She just won the rumble. Yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, I. So Cena you... put the Nexus over. Hell no. Yeah. No, he did not put the. <laughs> That's the only time I think ever Cena has. But put not put over the right people which how, you know how what many, nobody's perfect nobody's yeah, perfect but also can we just look at who was in nexus and see who's still around or who even lasted a year it was just, the only the only person that i really <laughs> affected that is wade barrett and yeah i i he's killing on commentary so yeah uh marcus says have roman versus cody at chamber the bloodline trying to interfere but rock comes out and helps cody and cody hit the crossroads on roman win the title then you start building the rock and roman match see i don't think they're gonna do that it's the uh, the thing is is the fact that Cody said I want to come after you but not at Mania. That's the problem. That's the problem. We got this comment from Denisha. How is uh, Seth buried? The no, he was buried. They buried. I'm not saying that. It's it's like okay. So I guess that they were de they devalued the title. Is what I'm saying. Like mm -hmm. him having to beg somebody to challenge him to not look at the bigger title that we know that you want, that everybody wants as the bigger title, the better title. Look over here at me. Let me try to convince you why my title is better. Like, do, would Roman do that? Roman wouldn't have to do that. Because I, everybody yeah. wants to go after the WWE title. To me, the, the, he, I, I 
wouldn't say he buried the title. He buried Seth, and it just continued their their on screen. If it's only on screen, I forget. Um, their re, you know relationship on you know that they're clearly like taking shots at one another. Seth doesn't like Roman's path. Roman doesn't care about Seth and is kind of responding there. I didn't see it like a burying, but I can see where you're coming from of devalued because the NWA title is like the wrestling fans title where the mm -hmm. WWE is like the title for yeah. just all of sports entertainment pro wrestling. So it's like you, you, you're you clearly separating the two by mm -hmm. saying that and that's fine. But in but this not instance, you, not right now. Yeah. Not right now. Uh, wrestling is fake is apparently turning on us. Doesn't believe that we were ever wrong. Oh. That's fine. You don't oh. have to believe me. Oh, that's fine. You, you know what? Even... I, I would get <laughs> my People's Champion DVD over, but you know what? I'm kind of on a show right now, so. Yeah. Um, Richard said, <laughs> I saw the SRS report. This is a rock power play. He forced his way into the match. Storytelling was thrown out the window. A thousand percent. A thousand yeah, percent. That's why no I was saying. It's like, it's unfortunate because I don't want to think this way. Like, I've been I a fan either. of The Rock. He's hilarious and he's so great. But this is the epitome of abusing the power that you have. Doing what Scott Hall said you never should do is being a mark for yourself, being a business for yourself. That's what this is. I don't care if it's The Rock. And that's the thing, too, guys. I should have prefaced this before I said anything. I would feel this way no matter who was in Cody's position. If the story was the same, it could be CM Punk. I would be sitting here defending the crap out of CM Punk and saying how this Think isn't fair. That. This isn't right. They Think shouldn't do that, this. Guys. That's, yeah, if you if you watch the show enough, you know that I don't like CM Punk. <laughs> Think about I that, would guys. Be, Come on. <laughs> I would be defending it, defending him because this is wrong. It's wrong. Um. You got you got to think about that. If Sarah's saying she defends CM Punk, holy shit, hell really has froze over. Yeah. Um. Uh. Yeah. And this is the other thing too. Roman has never beaten Seth Rollins. He has never beaten Seth Rollins. I know. And it is the greatest thing. Um. But Cody's beat Seth. Yeah, and that's the thing. Who wants to see Cody versus Seth Part Four? The last match we saw is being named one of the best wrestling matches in WWE history because Cody did it with a torn pec. He wrestled and, for the company that's screwing him with a I torn know. goddamn pec. Come yeah. on. And then we're like, yeah, let's see part four because then that's the other thing. What does that say about Seth to then lose the fourth time? That's so bad. What if Seth won? And Seth's injured. What if Seth like, won? And that's even worse. You know what oh, I'm it's saying? So like, it's a lose lose that. situation. Just like give us what we want. And that's and that and the thing that's confusing to me too is like because then there's the other factor that people are saying, like, oh well, um, they want Roman to pass Hogan. They just it's had so Hogan involved Hogan. with the rumble. So why would be they why would they be trying to eliminate him from the history books? It's not the same where you know uh they were trying to make Nikki Bella, the longest reigning Divas champion, because they wanted to get AJ Lee out of the books. This isn't the same. They literally just had Hogan at the Rumble. So to me, that doesn't make any sense. And then that would also mean uh, there was no plans to ever let Cody win, which again, then don't let any of this happen then. Like, don't let him win the Rumble. Don't tease us to think that this is what was going to happen, that we were going to have Cody finally win. And it was like, nope, just kidding. We just wanted to lead you guys on. Like, no, absolutely not. This is just so dumb. This what do you think so about dumb. this press conference that's going to go down? Do you think we get a takeover from the press conference? Like the Rockets up there and you just hear we want Cody. Yeah, no, that's that's going to you don't think they're going to hijack that. Oh, they'll I mean, hijack I it. I, I don't think it. Yes, you're right, because I know it's going to happen. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah, no, it's going to happen. It's going to be bad. And that's what I'm saying. It's like it, it, it makes it makes raw even more interesting. Because they're going to see all of it. Allegedly, they're monitoring it, which I'm like, of course they are. You can't avoid it, especially on Twitter, right? Um, they're all, like, not acknowledging it either. Like, The Rock's just posting, like, what a great show, blah, blah. It was electric. It's like, shut up, brother. Like, you you know what you're doing. Same thing with Triple H. Being like, oh, it's so great, great to have Tiffany Stratton on SmackDown. Like, boo, shut up. You know what people are saying. You know Stop. exactly what you're doing. And so if they really think that by not addressing it on Raw and that they're going to be able to go into a Thursday press, press conference and everyone's going to be excited, 
because fans are allowed and the media is allowed. So like SRS fans is, are allowed. Yeah, I believe oh, so. And go. SRS oh, is gonna be there. God. Like more, more like wrestling no, media. There, you be. think they're not gonna ask you about this? Like it's, it's not gonna be it. pretty. And the Rock getting booed. Are you serious? Like, I, mm, I don't know. Um. Oh, it's not good. It is not. Yeah, no, it's not at all. Um, yeah, see, and I meant to put this up. I was like, why would they bury Rollins? <laughs> like, I don't understand. Um, yeah, and this is another thing that people are saying. Cody has not re-signed a new deal. Um, oh, my God. If Cody... No, but... Oh, oh that's I'm the thing. Go. I don't know that that's a factor. If he has a year left, it's not a factor. But I really wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being a factor that he's like, I'm leaving. And I wouldn't blame him. If this is really what they're doing and they don't have any plans, like you're really going to prioritize the rock, 50 year old rock over the guy who's been busting his ass over the last two years and has been the face of your company and continues to get the biggest pop every single night, arguably louder than the rock. Then no, it is. It is like, what does that tell you? And Cody did that returning because we people forget when Cody left, no one gave a shit. There weren't many Sarahs out there that did. No, you know what I mean? Weren't. I was one of the lone people that would be at SmackDowns cheering for this man. So when he came back six years later and everyone is going bananas at Mania, what does that tell you? Like, and the fact that it's maintained, if not gotten louder and louder over the last two years like why would you s stomp all over that i like it doesn't it doesn't make any sense literally zero sense there's nothing anyone can say to me like no one's even explaining it in the comments which is like people want to try and act like we're overreacting because that's something that i've seen like you're overreacting you just want cody this cody that blah 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 i'm like guys it doesn't ha it's like it doesn't even have to do with cody necessarily like, no, it doesn't. It's 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 a bigger picture. You have to think bigger picture. Yeah, nothing's it's, adding up. It's just it, it, literally they're just doing this because they want to have big name, big name. Mm -hmm. Where years ago that would work and make sense, but now you don't need that because everyone on the Mania card is a big name. Every and match Cody, is a big name. Cody earned this spot. He literally just won the Rumble. <laughs> I mean, if we're like, yeah, I I don't. 